hello to all those who care to listen to me while I am bored. I would like to share a public service announcement. Do you have a Robner ligature? And obviously this is for single reed players. If you don't play an instrument or a single reed instrument, you don't have to pay attention to this if you don't want to. But anyways, if you play on a Robner ligature, you probably have some of this discoloration here. And you say, well, dang it, that sucks. It looks disgusting. And the more I rub it, the more it looks worse, right? So I have a trick that shows you how to make this look brand new again. And I cleaned this a year, six months ago. So it's not as bad as it could be. But if you've had your ligature for a year or two and you've never cleaned it, or you don't know how to clean it, I am here to show you the trick. So close this because you don't want to lose your bits. So you're going to take this apart. It's really easy. Take this one off, put it to the side, pull this one out too. If you want to, you can pull these out too, if you, but you don't have to. I'm just going to for the sake of the video. So then you're going to take any old hand soap and you're going to put it on a toothbrush. Don't use the toothbrush that you use every day, obviously. Use like a one that you want to get dirty that you don't that you don't use for your teeth, obviously. So what you're gonna do is you got I got my soap on the toothbrush and you're gonna just scrub away. Now the bristles go into the little indents in this fabric of the Robner ligature or anything that's very similar to the Robner. Make sure to really get into the spots where your chin touches it. That's the reason why the gunk gets in that spot. Just go through all the spots. Get wherever it's dirty. Now this one's not a very good example, but I don't have a dirty, a super dirty one. I just keep doing that. And then, just wash it. Rinse her off. Open the drain to let that soapy water get out. And then you turn your faucet up, close the drain again because we're going to put it back together and you don't want to lose your bits from your ligature. Now, the best thing to dry the ligature off with would be probably a, like a t shirt. That way, no lint gets trapped in it. Don't use a paper towel or tissue paper, anything that breaks up because then it'll get stuck in there and then you have even more of a mess. This kind of towel is fine. One that's been washed a lot that won't leave any lint will be perfectly fine to do that. So then you have it back together. So now, after you've got it dry, you're gonna put everybody back in. Now you make sure that these little holes are facing the right way so you can put the screw back in. Now, look at your ligature. See, that's when we close the thing. Now look at your ligature and figure out which side is the right side. So, you always put the screw in from the right. So, we have it facing like this and we want the screw to come out this way. So, we're going to hold on to these and we're going to take this screw and put it through this side. And make sure that the screw is fitting in flush, just like that. You can't put it this way. Put it right in this way because it will fit perfectly. And then take the other side. Butt, obviously. 
And then I'll flip the ground easier. There's your other screw opening. Push it in just like that. Make sure it's still fitting right. All right, and we're gonna double check because I always put it on wrong the first time because I'm not paying attention. So it's that way. Take your screw, put it on. Perfect. So there you have it. Just like if you were to take it right out of the box after you bought it.